Hello folks, we have a special treat for you today. We'll see some epic play from both sides with a magic trick that turned a city disadvantage into a decisive victory. Welcome to the Poly Champions channel. Let's watch the replay. Hello, I'm eSpark. I'm the leader of the Arctic Wolves and Junior on the Huskies. And with me today is Rat. Hello, I'm Rat. Thank you for having me. I am a player for Wildfire. I'm still fairly new in the pro scene of things, but uh, I've picked up quite a few things. And this is a very interesting game that we've played. Yeah, so tell me, this was from the Polyseum tournament, right? It's the 1v1 Imperius mirror match. Tell yes. me, and who are you playing against? I'm, I'm currently, uh, this game was against Nurki Mulan. This was the finals of one of the Daily Polyseum Imperius Drylands 1v1s. Um, mm. This was the finals, also a best of three. The first game they won, the second game I won, and this is the third match. Like, it's best of three, so this is the deciding match. So so this is for all the marbles. This yeah. is the finals. Okay. So, yeah. So you said this game was really wacky. So tell, let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah. It was definitely really wacky. He, they were hosts. <laughs> I'll, I'll just keep playing. I, they did a very interesting unorthodox opening, by the way. Let me just mention that. And I did notice that. I was scared when I saw that opening. Because I checked the score and I see 525. <gasps> That's... Uh, that's a wild opening for Imperius, let me put it like that. I was They scared. didn't get a workshop! No, they, cho they chose to train another warrior. <gasps> That's very unusual. Okay. So I just do my but thing. You, yeah. you do the usual thing where you get a workshop and move your warrior to look for villages. Yeah. Yes. But now, this is very important. I know they train two warriors. If I yeah. go center and I've lost so many one new ones in this tournament uh, of this Polyseum, where I just go center with my first warrior, I die and I lose. <laughs> so yeah. I know he has two warriors. I'm way too scared. I, I go to a safe village. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw the score. You're scared. You're like, I'm not going towards the middle. There could be two, vill two warriors waiting for me. Yes. Um, also, one thing I'd like to mention here on the current patch, um, it's impossible for villages to spawn one tile of the edge map on drylands, on drylands only. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. me going onto this fruit, although there's an animal here, there can't be a village south of this mountain. Mm -hmm. So I'm not missing out on a village. I will most likely find a village here. So yeah, this is a safe bet. Just important yep. to mention. I, I do my I do my thing. They got riding here. I mean this. I didn't score count all this way because it's a live game, but like I did saw the first warrior. <laughs> Like the double warrior. Mm -hmm. I, I walk here and I'm like, this is dangerous. I see their score increased. I know they have t another village claimed already. So, mm -hmm. and this village is way too close to me. I can't let them have this. But at the so same you time, attack? I, I attack because um, I can't siege this turn, right? Yeah. Or I can't undo this uh, village claim. Yeah. But what I can do is I can hit him now. So yeah. the a warrior has 5 HP. A warrior yes. that's 5 HP with defense bonus that he gets when he claims his village is one shot to a 10 HP warrior. Right. Yeah. And if I don't pre-hit him, then if I hit him, uh, if I hit this 10 HP warrior on the defense bonus, I'll need three warriors to, to yes. kill him. So I pre-hit yeah. him here. Yeah. No, that makes sense that you attack because you have your 10 hit point warrior coming that can attack next exactly. turn. Yep. Exactly. And also me meeting him here, keep in mind he is above 1000 score, I get five stars. And I got oh, workshop. Oh right! Here. So look what because, I get. Because yes, if he's over one thousand points, you get five stars instead of three stars when you meet. Yes. Yes. And I managed oh. to sneak riding roads and train a rider. <laughs> <gasps> Wait a minute. Go back. So you had how many stars you you met? I had uh, nine here. Then I move. I get five, so I have fourteen. Fourteen stars. And I've let's go to your tech tree. It's not six, 5 plus 6, 11 stars for this. So I, I yoinked this. I could have gotten a workshop on my capital, uh, on this uh, city here and yes. just grabbed riding and call it a day. But um, yes. I chose, you know what, we can delay this. I need units here to fight. We need to yes. fight. <laughs> we, we, gotta, we gotta fight here. So you got a rider in your capital. Cool. Yeah. And he sweeps up this village. 
he's mm -hmm. very unfortunate here that these two forests are blocking him. He doesn't have roads. He wouldn't even be able to unseach this with his rider. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know that, but he can't. Like, he yeah. physically can't. So, since I don't know, I take a vote, by the way, to siege this, uh, since I want to kill Zoria as well. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I attack here is because... Like, the, the reason I do it this way is because this way, this 5 HP warrior is in my territory. And units that recover in your territory will recover by 4 HP yeah. instead of 2. Yeah, That's so. right. So you can heal that warrior next turn for 4 HP. Also, it's good to kill with a rider. I like to accumulate kills with my riders so I can get a veteran with them. Yes, I do that as well. However, here it's my highest priority to use this rider yeah. to block him off the unseach. Mm -hmm. I don't know that he can't unseach because of these forests. I need to make sure. But you're expecting. I expect yeah, the rider, yes. Expecting it. Mm -hmm. I expect so him you to want find unseach. So I have to sacrifice this rider. I have to. Yeah. Yeah, Makes and sense. he takes the kill and, and just trades it. And just like take a look at this uh, position here. I know I get this village, but there are three mountains blocking me towards the middle of the map. I can't use oh. roads. He has got basically three villages all around me. My entire map, like I'm cut off of the entire map. He will get yes. this village, this village for free, this village for free. We can fight yes. down here again, but like, <gasps> this is issues. Yes. <laughs> The way those mountains are positioned, you he has way more access to villages than you do. Mm -hmm. Yes, but keep in mind, mountains currently, what was it, 80% mining rate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will see some Ooh. action. I is don't want to spoil Is it. that like foreshadowing for future mines? Um, mm -hmm. we'll have to see. Maybe. <laughs> um, I connect these walls. I'm trying to get my economy set up while also training units because Five stars, I can train a warrior and a rider, but like then I will not even accumulate stars. I need to also get my yeah. economy, so... Yeah. I, in hindsight, disagree with this kill. I should have just recovered and... Uh, oh, played. right, because you were thinking to leave it there to get the healing, and then you didn't heal. Uh, yes. I, I mean, I was thinking, like, I'm in a position where I can play a little bit aggressive, since he also was delayed with his first workshop. I have sort of unit advantage, which I just threw mm. away by upgrading my city, but... I thought I thought I was in a better position than I was actually in because I was stealing mm. a village from him. Uh, so I tried to warrior here, but like I took the, I, I didn't even upgrade anything. <laughs> I just placed the road yeah. to connect these two cities apparently. Oh yeah, no, because I voted this warrior in to kill. That yeah. makes sense. But like it wasn't, it wasn't a play. It's fine. Um, he kills. He kills. Yeah. Good thing you is just giving him killer monument there. <laughs> that's true. But he can also not really retreat with these forests. Yeah. But I also can't really attack him because I don't have units. <laughs> I can get another workshop and just get more u the warriors here. Yeah. I mean, me getting hits with the warriors is sort of fine. This rider dies because he can't retreat. But he gets a lot of kills. It's not. It's this not does great. This not look good. This does not look good for you. He's got riders. He can just swoop in, kill your warriors, you are kind of stuck in the west. To be fair, the situation here, that where I'm like trading his riders with my warriors, isn't even that bad, because at the end of the day, his riders are dying in the trade-off of my warriors, and the riders are more expensive than warriors, but the worst thing out of this fight here is that I'm mm -hmm. not expanding no, uh, east, yeah. and he is. That's the biggest right. issue that I have right now. He's expanding yeah. here, and I'm not. This fight is fine, but I, I'm not expanding. That's the biggest issue. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that was that was not well played on my part. Definitely not. But I, like this is very efficient for me, right? Like this fight is totally fine. I, I hit his riders with my warriors mm -hmm. and then he hits them twice. And you know, now I get my units up to attack. But against this fight, I can't retreat because of the forest. Like this is fine. And now I get vision. Let's explore, and I realize the severity of my situation. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay, let me try and get a task for here with a bunch of units. Okay, let me let me just appreciate this fact. So he sees all the these host people. got the host got climbing, and they can see all those mines. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was very hesitant about mining because uh, about climbing. Sorry, because. Uh, it doesn't really get me anything. Climbing is mm -hmm. seven stars. My income is 
how much is my income here? Nine stars. So it's like almost one full yeah. turn of income. My economy will lack if I get climbing. Uh, I, I don't have... Like, if I see him having a rider here, I can't even attack it because I don't have the yeah. roads with... To, I don't have money for roads. Like, it's just all around a bad situation. So I tried in the third, like, a task force to hit him here somehow, which I was... In high just like wasting time. And he's very smart. He knows that these forests are blocking me all around. And he's just yeah. retreating all his units, not giving me a unit to attack on his capital to siege. He's just like saying, you know what? You spent your stars on units. I'll keep expanding. Uh, I'll get my economy set up. You do yours. I'm chilling. Yes. And I. He can afford to just kind of take his time, build up his yeah. economy. You have that ring of mountains and forests blocking you. There's one little tile, right, that doesn't have a forest that you could reach, but really you're kind of pigeonholed in the west. And he got climbing because he got the ruin. What did yeah. he get from the ruin? Um, let me check. I don't remember. He got climbing. He he got meditation. The... Oh, all right. Well, not the best thing. Well, yeah. he never got the monument. Let me let me tell you that. <laughs> like, I kind of yeah. I kind of sit here. I mean, he does play passive, but since I am still pushing into him, mm -hmm. he has to fight back, which he punishes me for. Like, I, I do this. Now you pick up climbing. You're like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Like, you see me trying to assert pressure here by, like, pushing into him, which, mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of pays off because he can't play passive and get his monument for free for meditation. Yeah. But, like... He even kills one of my riders. Like, this is not efficient for me at all. <laughs> no. And now I was like, okay. I need to find, like, I need to find some sort of way that I can come back from this. Like, this situation is so bad. I got climbing and now I see, like, okay, what's my winning position? My winning, like, what can I use? What's my win condition? Sorry. My win condition could be get a night chain well probably not happening he has like a vision almost over everything and mm -hmm. he can and also there's all those mountains and forests so a knight would kind of yeah. get blocked by that mm -hmm. and he will have vision because i expect him to take this other village down here shape the explorer mm -hmm. and then just like have a vision over everything so like i can't hide it maybe i can get cloaks i already have organization maybe if he gets giants soon then i could maybe yeah. do something with daggers and basically you know a cloak is you train one mm -hmm. unit and you get like five daggers for it, so it's value essentially. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like nothing really works. <laughs> like yeah, it is not looking good for you right no. now. Like all your options, like your path to victory doesn't do not look very optimal. Yeah. And yeah. I I was accumulating my kills on this fight. I think this is the second kill of it or something like this. I wasn't, I didn't pay attention yet. I mean, I did pay attention in the game because like I really like to accumulate those skills on riders. Mm -hmm. um, he does this thing, he just keeps pushing economy. Yep. He gets his net of money went soon as well. I think this is also he has skilling five money. cities. He has five cities, yeah. he's gonna pick up the one in the south, he's gonna get the one in the east, and he you just... are just stuck in the west. You are gonna get one more, but yeah, he has a lot more cities than you. Yeah, and he just got his killing monument. Like this turn, I am on 7 out of 10 kills, so I'm also somewhat close, but mm -hmm. behind. Um, he gets his first giant on his capital, and... What does he? I think he does. No, he's oh, he too does next short. Turn. He yeah. does next turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm deciding, okay, you know what? The only way for me to come back from this is to do something with mining and smithery. Right? Yeah. Like, I can upgrade the city twice with mining, and this city again with mining, and then mm -hmm. this city will be a giant with mining alone. So, yeah, this yeah. was the third kill of this rider, by the way, I'm pretty sure. I can't check. Oh, you can track for a veteran? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is uh, a veteran right here. I just didn't promote him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got mining. Here, uh, I took an explorer. And also, oh, yeah. oh, by the way, this is actually important. You see this 5 HP rider? Yes. Um, I will never ever anymore grab any explorers that have less than a or more than a five percent chance of going somewhere i don't want them to go yeah. i will shape everything <laughs> i'm i'm Good. i've lost too many games because my, or not lost but like my explorers i hate them i am so unlucky so instead of recovering i just uh shape <laughs> mm -hmm. and also it's all my stars but the explorer has a very li high likelihood of i'm giving the lighthouse which is resources right. 
Wait, so you moved that five hit point rider onto the mountain to clear out the fog so you could get an explorer in the new city and know that it would go south. Yeah. 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 And also got resources to train, uh, because of the light toss, I got resources in my capital, get to train more units. Uh, it's important that no matter what I do here, I need to keep training units because otherwise he will run me over. The best yeah. way I can kind of play the situation here is basically train a lot of warriors put them on defense bonus like mountains yeah mm -hmm. and then although he can use his riders to attack and retreat um mm -hmm. his riders are three stars my warriors are two stars and with defense yes. bonus he always has to use two riders to retreat for each warrior that he kills which right. is it's not cost effective for him to send three warriors to kill one defense bonus war you you it's it's a profitable it, exchange for you but yeah. it's not profitable because my warrior dies and he can recover his riders <laughs> But True. it buys me time, <laughs> and I need time. Yeah. <laughs> like, I say time, okay, well, I, I can't give him too much time myself, because then he would just, like, push his economy mm -hmm. on all the cities and I would lose. But I need enough time to get my mining set up, which, if you've ever played Shin Chi in a mirror, it takes time. <laughs> like, at yes. least a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, I also got my coding monument last one, I think, but I didn't place it. I'm also surprised he gets a workshop here, by now the way. Now he gets his giant because he connects with the roads. Yeah. Uh, I disagree with the decision of taking butter growth here, but that's that's fine. So he does this. Well, he might have seen, you know, that spot. Look, there's a forge spot that's there. Just, that's true. So he, he, he may have done that proactively to stop you from getting that four forge spot if you had expanded borders. Maybe. Maybe that's what he was thinking. Yeah, I mean, I really just uh, don't like, um, I mean, also it blocks this forest here and I can't place a vault here. I mean, it's it's not mm -hmm. definitely not bad. Um, it's just like, mm -hmm. I don't like talking about mistakes, it's more about like decisions that work better than worse. Yeah, like, but I think it, there could have been a good decision there if he was consciously thinking, I want to take that forge spot. I don't want you to get that really good forge spot. Maybe. I mean, for that, he has to get my cities, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was never planning on this quadruple forge spot because that requires me to get border growth. In this city, I need mm -hmm. nine more population here, two mm -hmm. for the mine, two for, uh, two for these two fruits, mm -hmm. four for a forge, so that's eight, and world connection is nine. So I don't need yeah. to get border growth. I okay. can just like use what I have here, and that's the cheapest way also to get it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. for, for border growth, you remember, if I want to get border growth in this city, I need to get border growth in the city without the forge because I want to place a forge yeah. after it, which is like I would need to monument or something for it. Which... Yeah. 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 No, I'm... that makes sense from your point of view. I, I didn't mind. Like, it, it, for me, it's fine because for me, that means he's not going to get a giant in that city anytime soon. Or like, I saw it anytime yeah. soon. But it's more expensive yeah. for him to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just. This, this, why, yeah, this rider has three kills. Um, I just yeah. used it to, you know. It's a veteran, basically. You're waiting, but you're keeping track. You know it can become a veteran, but not yet. You're waiting. Yeah. No, I'm just pushing my economy. I'm just like trying to get something done. Oh, by the way, uh, this rider I killed and bounced onto the hill. Uh, it's because mm -hmm. I want this guy to go onto this hill. Not because of the lighthouse, but because I don't want to get an explorer out yes. of this ruin. <laughs> I want to get something you're valuable. Shaping, you're shaping it again so you don't get a yeah. worthless explorer. Yeah. Because... If there is um, a two tile radius, mm -hmm. if there's one fork within a two tile radius of a ruin, you can get an explorer out of it. Right. And so you can never get an explorer out of a mountain ruin because for that you would, you know, clear all the fork just by stepping on a mountain. Um, yeah. But if it's not a mountain ruin, you have to clear all the fork yourself, which yeah. I do here because I, I want to get something valuable. Yeah, I just try to keep turning units. I need to keep like it's it sucks for my economy, but I have to keep uh, a position where um, I can fight. Also, one mistake from my pit, but this uh, city is population capped. Oh. Um, I should have moved this warrior back into the city because oh. leaving it open, he can bounce onto the city. And yes, yeah. he can attack and bounce. Ooh. Which just like it's not terrible. It's just like it denies me stars, which right now right. I cannot afford. <laughs> which he does. Well played. Yeah. And like that's what I'm talking income. about. He has to use this. Be very, I say, inefficient. Like he has to use units, like many units, to kill these warriors with defense bonus, which buys me a bit of time. Yeah. 
I also disagree with this. He should. I think the better decision for him would have been to take the warrior, move on to the mountain, mm. and then take an explorer here because that will basically reveal everything and maybe even mm -hmm. give him his uh, monument for Eye of God. Yeah. That would have been a really smart decision. I mean, workshop works just fine because he needs to use this warrior to attack, but he wanted to uh, keep up the pressure, which which is fine. It's just like mm -hmm. I would have done it a bit differently. It's you know, can do it both ways. Uh, he keeps. Oh, by the way, this is also really smart play. You would think, why would you kill your rider to kill this warrior? Like this is inefficient. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the thing is, uh, he's sieging this. I need yes. units to kill this rider, and then I would need units to kill this warrior to undo this warrior, so I can use this as a, like place a mine. I can't place a mine there right now, which. I, I actually didn't plan on um, using mines necessarily. It's cheap, but like I would rather get f um, smithery soon. Um. But he wanted to put his unit on that mountain to stop you from placing a mine. Yeah, yeah. that was smart. Like he used this rider, he yeah. sacrificed it for it, but like I mean, it's totally fine that play. That's that's yeah. pretty good. And now we do some gambling. We have population, <gasps> Ooh, which actually saves the day. Good. Now this that's is lucky. This is the swordsman. This is where I paused the game when I was actually playing, because now I made up the plan how I want to play the situation. Oh. The giant is coming. How do I deal with the situation? Yeah. Um. I was spying on maybe Houdini, but you know, I shouldn't be able to, right? I don't even have the units for it. Mm. Um, and I need to giant in the city no matter what. That's yes, like the you need to target. pop your own giant there. Yes. What's the quickest way for me to, or like the easiest way to pop a giant here? What do you think? So let's see your tech tree. I do have my killing monument in stock still, by the way. Just uh, yeah. You know. Oh, that's right. So you could place the killer monument in your capital, get a giant there, and then place another monument in the other city and get it with a mine. Will that work? Um, two mines? I, would, I need two mines for that, yeah. So it's... It works, but I came up with something different. Yeah. I said... What are you doing? Uh, I need smithery. Smithery is 16 stars. A mm -hmm. forge spot on my capital gives me my park of fortune. And then I have two monuments to get a giant in the city. How can you get smithery? You can't afford it. So next turn. The giant is coming next uh, turn. Uh, okay, okay. So that's 21 stars I need. So let's yeah. look at this. Iron Siege. I make 16 stars per turn. Yeah. So it's 28. So I can spend 7 stars, right? Mm -hmm. No, I can't because this city is getting sieged. So 3 stars less. So I have 6... Uh, no, wait. It's, uh, 4 stars to spend. I can spend 4 stars here. Okay. So I train the warrior here and here. And now I realize... Wait. If this city down here is getting siege, I have problems because then I can't afford it anymore. So what I do is I attack this warrior to basically <laughs> make him unable to siege this. <laughs> yeah, because he could road in a, a rider and attack with the two warriors and siege and then you'd have less income. Yeah, exactly. I think he can <gasps> still siege this with like these two riders and these two warriors. I think I really do use a calculation bot, but it would be extremely inefficient and he wouldn't know about my plan anyways. So it's not worth it for him. So, so this you is discouraged him. Exactly. From also, I give him yeah. two free to kill units here. Like he might as well take them. <laughs> right. So you don't place the monument yet. You're saving it for next time. No, I need the monument in this city, and okay. I was gonna get my park of fortune with a smithery, like the forge, and then oh. I place a park of fortune and a killing monument in this city. I understand. Got it. Okay. This was my plan, and he does actually a very smart thing, and then also a very not so smart thing. He places three warriors on all mines. He's thinking that you're gonna try to pop a giant. He there knows I'm mining. With mines. He knows yeah. I'm mining. Yeah. Little did he know that was not my plan. And right. there's one you're, thing that wasn't. You're planning to use two two monuments, not the mines. Yes, but the biggest issue is not these three warriors. The issue is this wider up here. Can I have, you do a Houdini now? I have four units here. And I need to get this position back here. And I, I don't have five units because I can't place a road here anyways. Like, I don't have stars for roads. I can only mm, move. That's right. 
You and... you have just enough stars to get mo the smithery and the forge. Exactly. This this is the better one I was talking about earlier. Which, by the way, I didn't even need to do that. I could have just like hit this rider, not killed the rider, oh. not killed my own um, um, rider and bounce here. Which is, no. I just like it was, it was a life game. Don't mind me. Yeah. So you upgraded that rider so it has more hit points, so it won't die. Exactly. And then you bounce it onto the spot. Are you going to get a Houdini? <laughs> and now this is where the table's turn. <laughs> yeah, this giant is dead. Wow. And then now my issue, my biggest issue right now is that I don't have units. Giants are great, but like you don't, if you don't have units to play with them, you know, and I, I no, keep getting great. sieged. Can, let's see that again. Let's see that again. So again, he blue put all his units on the mines, thinking you're gonna try to get a giant with mines, but you had already planned to use two monuments. Oh my gosh, this is great. The thing is, this, I was I was just like I knew I was not gonna Houdini this, but then he placed this rider up here, which is he like, did. you know, without this rider I wouldn't have been able to because I don't have enough mm -hmm. units. I don't have a unit to place here. Um, since he was blocking all these mines, that's a great play, but the spider, not so much. Yeah. It, it didn't pay off. I mean, to be fair, he didn't <laughs> see it coming, and, um... Ooh. Yeah, there goes the ri uh, giant. Oof. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> but he keeps, he keeps up the pressure. I don't have stars to train anything, <laughs> so, I mean... But, but you have smithery now. Yes. I mean, like he, was, like, he does a good job on clearing all the units around my giants, which is like, you know, giants themselves don't do a whole lot. So, and yeah. if you don't have units to support them, <laughs> which they don't right now. But you have that swordsman, and you have smithery, so you can do something. Yeah. I still have two riders back here. Like, the two, the two, this one took the mine earlier, and this mm -hmm. one uncovered the lighthouse. So I do have something to work with. And I decided to giant push here, which yeah. you could argue was not a great play because I mean, it's just like I was thinking here, I want to basically send my giants into his capital to somehow mm. win this because <laughs> his capital mm. is right there. Yeah, his capital is right there. And you can only pump so many giants. And if I'm there first and I can attack first since giants have five attack for defense, you are mm -hmm. in a good position. And mm -hmm. he doesn't have really that many units and worst comes to worst. I can push Shine C and get this other cities for him mm -hmm. defending up here. So right now I'm just like thinking, okay, giant push cause zone of control is where I can't ward him in. So I just do this instead. Mm -hmm. Works fine. Yeah, and I mean, he's very close to a giant because he got a population yeah, win much but earlier. But you have three giants. You can send those all to his capital. That's got to put him, I don't know, some fear in him. He gets another giant. He gets another giant, yep. And he keeps sieging my cities. <laughs> yeah. And this is a veteran. Income. This is a veteran that I can't even kill. I only have two riders. So. Oh. Oh no. I mean, that's it's a fine. veteran. How are you going to be able to unseed? I just giant. <laughs> <laughs> you just do another giant. Oh my god. Yeah, a giant. Again, since I gianted, I don't really have stars to plan units, so he keeps teaching my cities down here. And up there, he, like, at this point, it's actually fine because my income of these two cities are high enough to fund it. But, like, I was in a very grim, like, in a very, how do you say, very tight budget the entire game yes. until now. Like, I was counting my Your stars. tight budget. But he keeps dropping a unit and sieging, so it reduces your income, but you planned for it, so oof. I mean, keep in mind doing that, since these are warriors with defense bonuses, his riders all have no HP anymore. And he, yeah. is, he has to deal with this situation on his capital now, like, he has to find a solution with this, with this one, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Which, yeah. he actually didn't attack with his giant, because oh. he doesn't want to get sieged, whilst... Yeah. It's more efficient to attack with giant, which is an interesting yes, decision. Yes, but yes. like, I understand it. Like, you know, if he, he attacks now, then I'm, I'm able to siege next yeah. time. So. Yeah, he's keeping his giant healthy, so he yeah. can keep his his capital alive. Yeah. So I giant up here, uh, down here, because I can't unsiege, basically. 
which is expensive, so I have no sauce again. <laughs> you're spending all your budget to get a giant each turn to unsiege, but you're still alive. Okay, you're still yeah, there. And I, and I bonk. I bonk very, very hard. Like, you see, if he attacked with this giant, it would have been, it would have been dead now, right? Yeah. And you see how much money he has. He... Okay, let me just talk about this for a second. Yeah, the, let's talk about the stars per turn. Um, uh, there are so many ways you can deal with giants, right? Right. Um, you need like he needs to find a solution for this, right? He needs mm -hmm. to find a solution for this giant issue that he has in his capital. And the way that you can deal with it is like you can get catapults. Well, not an option. Let's look at this factory. You can get catapults. Yeah, not an option. You can get archers. No. Not an option. Um, you could get giants yourself. Um, mm -hmm. He did get one, but like more also not really an option. Like you could get forestry with hunting. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He needs. Mm -hmm. That would have been actually. That would have been a giant. Uh, with forestry. Forestry hunting would have been a giant with like all these forests. Or the next option is to just, which is not long term good, but like it's short term good, is to just train a lot of warriors and maybe also riders to just send into the giants. Mm -hmm. Which is not very efficient, but you know, it, it will deal with the situation. Mm -hmm. And he decides to do something very much different. Um, he accumulated a lot of stars. He has 57 stars. Yeah. He gets construction and he burns these forests. Oh, wow. Which I That's must very say, expensive. Yes. Like you see, he got f he used fifty-five stars to basically almost get the next giant. Fifty-five stars. Which wow. to be fair, with forestry hunting it wouldn't be enough because I'm blocking this forest and you can't kill this giant. Oh. Um, and he are so the thing is he'd made that choice before to put his monument in that other city for border growth, so he didn't have a more monuments. Did he already use his other Where's his um, Park of Fortune? I mean, it's his here. Grand Bazaar. It's also here. I see. Okay, yeah. He put them both in that other city. I mean, maybe if he had gotten this explorer here in this city much sooner, with like the shaped explorer going into the corner, he would have gotten the lighthouse. Maybe with for lighthouses. Lighthouse mm -hmm. and the Eye of God, which is another monument. Mm -hmm. And then maybe right. with forestry, which is actually much cheaper with forestry. And this costs like, you don't have to burn. Like each burning action costs five stars and then the farm yes. costs five stars so essentially yes. two population for ten stars plus a tier three tag that you had to research wow which is very really expensive. expensive and you would think like 55 so essentially 65 stars for one giant on this mm -hmm. capital which mm -hmm. with 65 stars you could train 32 warriors <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not a great solution but it would have probably been better if he started training those two units much sooner and or I even mean, riders, because he has roads, so he could send yeah. the right. Because how are you going to get them in there? That's the other problem. Like you can train and warriors, and riders, yeah. but they're far away. If he realizes much sooner, he could have also, like, we've got to turn 19 right now. Let's keep that in mind. You see how long this is, like, he is farming for so long. Yes. Um, he could have also, in this situation already, gotten a giant there. Gotten a giant here, which he could have used yes. to attack me, then I can't push myself. Or if I do, he can also use his giant to defense. Yes. Like, there's so many options, it's just like, this one that he, they choose, that it wasn't maybe the best one? It's not cost effective, yeah. yeah. So, they push giants, and, um... I, like, I don't see this, by the way, I just see... If I look at my situation... Well, you can see the farms coming. I see a lot, but I don't see what, like, I see there's another village here, so I don't know, maybe there's a giant mm -hmm. coming myself, uh, from this side, you know, like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't expect to actually get this capital here. But I know that mm -hmm. I'm dealing issues. I'm causing a lot of issues. He has to... Yeah, you're putting pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has to get all his units to his capital to make sure he doesn't lose the game. Yeah. Which I take that as an opportunity to also kill his riders here. But um, mm -hmm. I say, okay, if you can deal with the capital situation, then what about this situation? I know it's kind of cheap yeah. to get a giant here, but like... You have to deal with this situation first before you deal with this. Mm -hmm. And also down here, I'm gonna get the city. And now, now I have stars left, twenty units. <laughs> now the thoughts yeah, are coming. You have five giants, and they're all, yeah. And three of them are putting pressure on the capital. One's going for that middle city. So many giants, thanks to the forges. Yes, um, I mean, early game, they, the mountains backfired very much because they completely sucked, and I mm. couldn't play the game and. 
Then I realized, wait a second, I could get mining, but it took some mm. time, right? Um, yeah, well, one more thing is... Ah, here, okay. I'm a very fast player, by the way. When it comes to live mm -hmm. games, I will not take my time. I will probably make mistakes because I'm playing too quick. Um, <laughs> which, right now, is actually good because I had, like, I don't know, five minutes left in the clock. So I went over to um, Poly Champions Discord and looked into... Because I, I saw this giant coming. Like, let's be honest, I see him burn three forests for three farms. This giant is coming, yeah. I can't do anything about it. So I look at the bot, uh, calculate, what do I have? I have a 36 HP giant and a 37 HP giant. Mm. I want to siege with giant. Okay, how does this work? I realized if I attack a giant with my 36 HP giant, and then the rider, and then the swordsman, and then the 37 HP giant, the giant he pushes is dead. So I, I basically, I lose this giant, but like, it doesn't matter, you know. Because so. you're preparing. Wait a minute. So you you had three minutes on the clock. So you're like, I can take a little time. Yeah. I can go into the Discord and use the poly calculator bot to figure out the optimal way to take out the giant. Um, right. Because no, there's the, the optimal oak way. man. If you ask the oh. bot for the um, optimal play, it will tell you attack with giant, attack with giant, attack with swordsman and run rider. I don't mm -hmm. want to siege with rider or with swordsman. Mm -hmm. I want to siege with the giant. <laughs> but oh, if, but I, you know. There is a way in the O command to tell what you want the final attack to be. Uh, I didn't know that, to be fair. It's good to know. Oh. I'll, I'll look into that. Well, let me tell you. We <laughs> I'm going to put in a little plug here. We have a video on how to use the Poly Calculator Bot. We have a tutorial, and it includes a way for you to use the O command, dot, the optimal command, and then you place the unit you want at the end, and you can use the F to show that that's the final attacker and it will keep that unit at the end. That is a very valuable information that I will definitely use in the future. <laughs> um, Put I mean... in a plug for the Poly Calculator. Poly Champions is brought to you by Poly Calculator. Poly Calculator for all your battle needs. Not sure whether your opponent will be able to kill you, whether you kill your opponent. Check the Poly Calculator and never question again. <laughs> to be fair, I tried some. I tried some things. Like it's four units. I have some time to just go through yeah, some of them. Right? No, you should mess around with the poly calculator. Yeah. It, it has so many. It has a lot of potential. So try that. <laughs> I will. I definitely will. So it's my turn. I attack with 36 HP. I clear the spider. I attack with spider. Mm -hmm. I attack with swordsman, and I kill. Yay! And wow! I'm, I'm, I'm being annoying. <laughs> and I just That's basically. It. There's yeah. no way they can come back from that. You no. got it. Yeah, this, uh, yeah. <laughs> this was so the game. So that's great. So moral of the story is stay alive until you can figure out a way to get a whole mess of giants and use the poly calculator. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the poly calculator is a very much, like, very useful tool. Any, like, apart from live games, like even live games, when you have some time on the clock, you can yeah. figure out some yeah. stuff. Like, I've, I've seen so many ways where I was like, oh, can I kill this giant? I press calculate, this unit, this unit, blah, 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 blah. Oh, a giant that survives with like 4 HP. And then I press yeah. calculate, optimal order, this unit, the same units. I take this yeah. order, giant dies. I'm like, oh, cool, That's I right. can kill. And... Just like for that alone, even in live games, if you if you have some time on the clock, it's very valuable. It's so true. Yep. Okay. So this yeah, this was really fun, really interesting, and I love how you got that Houdini. That uh, that was just so sad. That must have you must have been so satisfied. Just like yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, to be fair, I was really sad until like I don't know. Even when I saw the situation with my mines, I was I was mm -hmm. still thinking, okay, now I have these giants. And then later on, once I get my giants to the front that he has to deal with, um, mm -hmm. I'm, I have some time and some stars to train swordsmen and stuff. And I will also have more stars left over to get even more tech and be more annoying. But like, what do I do? And then I was thinking, you got Border Growth here. He's pushing his capital. He's like done three or four giants out of that thing. What about yeah. cloaks? That would have been my next strat. Like after I push swordsman into him, I would have the front line to his side, so my cloaks are safe that he can't really yes. uncover them. So, 
you know, when like my income was like, let's say he finds a solution for this giant situation and doesn't uh, lose the game. Yeah. Here, this the game would have still been in his favor because. Yeah. If he's done uh, found a situation to deal with this giant, this giant here would have been twelve stars, which isn't that expensive. He mm -hmm. probably wouldn't have been able to also find a solution for this one. But the South City would have been gone. That that thing is gone. That's mine. You know. Yeah. Um. So I was thinking, okay. Um. I have relatively cheap, like I have high income, low, t um, high income, low city amount. So I'm thinking I have low, relatively low star um, tech costs, right? Which, mm -hmm. let me look at this real quick. I have 24 stars per turn and my techs are like 12 and then 16. Yeah. So yeah. if I train units here, that's like two riders, two swordsmen each turn at 16 stars. So each turn I'll accumulate eight stars that yeah. I won't spend. And they will probably train like optimal units, you could argue. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I would think, okay, after like two or three turns of doing that, well, once my giants are dead at the front, I'll have like three swordsmen on an entire front that he'll have to deal with after yeah. that. And that's so much time for me to then get strategy, diplomacy, and then get cloaks. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if he then gets knights, then I could even argue about archery and I have like a lot of defense bonus daggers up here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, that's that solution that they found with the um, how's it called construction was not very much optimal. Probably cost them the game, which I mean you saw it. It was like fifty-five stars for yeah. or sixty-five stars for one giant, which is not efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, spending so much money on burning fo the forest to get farms and construction that. Yeah, not an efficient giant. It can definitely pay off in some situations when you really need to get a giant in a specific location like this. Mm -hmm. and But only really when it's like one or two forests maybe. And it will also mm -hmm. help a lot if you play like a tribe like Sebasti that already plays with farming. And then you already have like yeah. a, f a windmill as well, right? If you have a windmill and then you're like, okay, this one forest, if I burn it, that's 10 stars. But I get three population for it, which is respectable. Yeah. And that's not that expensive, but, you know, it, this it was not so efficient. Yeah. Ah, but yeah, this was, yeah, very, um, I don't know, interesting, different game, unexpected moves. So, yeah, thank you so much for sharing it with me. This thank was great. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps us a lot. If you want to support Poly Champions directly, plus get channel perks, you can become a channel member by hitting the join button below. For more Path of the Ocean Polytopia game reviews and tips, click the links in the description. Join the Discord! Get on a team! A link to the Discord server is also in the description. Take care! See you on the next one!